In this video, we're going to be looking at how to generate a username. Now, in the previous tutorial, we had some data set up already. And our username is a generated field, which is made up of a number of parts. The first two letters are a combination of the first and last name. And the last part is a sequential number, which will increase each time. So if I was going to add another field to it, let's say I was going to add, I don't know, uh, Bert Smith. And I'll just give him a date of birth. And his um, next username will be a combination of his first initial, his last initial, and the next sequential number. Well, the highest one at the moment is 877. This one will be 878. So what we're going to do is basically create um, some code to actually do this for us. And the first thing we need to do is to create a query. To create a query, I go to create, I go to uh, query design, and I add my table. Now, the next thing I need to do is I'm just going to make this first field a bit bigger. It's a little bit difficult on my mouse. Here we go. And then I'm going to enter some code here. Now, let's have another look at the data. First of all, this is not a number. So if I found the biggest one of this using uh, a sort or something like that, and I could do that like this, sort A to Z, it doesn't necessarily give me the right number. Okay, The one at the top is not the biggest number. And the problem is the letters at the front. So I need a way of just getting the last three letters. And I can do that in Access using something called Write. So I type in Write. I type in the field name, which is username, comma, three. Now, the reason I've put comma three in is that the numbers at the end uh, are three digits long. So I want the last three digits of my username, which are, is a numerical part, which means I can then use that to find the biggest. Now, in order to find the biggest, I then use the max function. Now, I'm going to sandwich the max function around the right. So, what's going to happen here is it will first of all find the three digits at the end of the username, and then it will find the biggest out of those. If I run this query, what should happen is you can see it gives me the biggest none. At the moment, the biggest one is 878, which is exactly what it's got. Notice that it says expression 1, or EXPR1. That isn't particularly very descriptive, and it's probably better if we name it um, something different. So I'm going to go back to Design View, and to give it a name, I'm going to replace this EXPR1. And I'm going to call this biggest number, something like that. You can call it whatever you want. What you have to make sure is your, the name of the field, what you want to call it, must be before the semicolon. At the other end, I have my functions as per normal. I'm going to run this again, and this time what we should see is biggest number. If I'm just going to make that bigger so we can read it all. Yeah, biggest number here, and then it says 878. However, I want the next biggest number. I don't just want the biggest, I want the next biggest. So this bit is very simple. I just want to add one to it. So go back to my design view. And at the end of this expression, I just add one. So this is going to be giving me the next biggest number. So I'm going to save this, and I'm going to give it a sensible name, and I'm going to call this um, find next biggest number. That's now saved, and what I can do now is just put this in the bank, and I'm going to make use of it in a bit.